Here we go. Final Fantasy IV, where yeah. Final Fantasy starts to become something. And this is with with a good old Cecil or Cecil, right? This with a right. uh, yeah Cecil and Kane and Rosa, Rid- I guess Rydia? people. Rydia's here. Rydia, the one everyone wants to fuck. <laughs> The, the one that just wears green gossamer and <laughs> she, she wears like a green spider web basically just this she wears yeah and I, I typed in uh, sexy Cecil in the Google because I for whatever reason I needed that image for something for a joke I guess yeah and all that mm-hmm. came up was was Rydia everyone just draws Rydia I was expecting to see Mario jumping through that last <laughs> shot, like bouncing on fucking bullet bills and shit. That looked like straight up it, the last. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, it, it is just a Mario airship, isn't it? Yeah. Dum, 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 dum. It's canon now. Mario exists within the realm of Final Fantasy IV. I'm sure. Well, we can easily connect that, actually, <laughs> because Cloud is in Smash Brothers, Cloud's in Dissidia, uh, one of the at least one of the characters from Final Fantasy IV is in Dissidia. Boom. What was it? Do you remember that other game that had Final Fantasy characters that you fought? It was like Air Guys or something like mm. that. Air Guys, yeah, that's the other one. Did you ever play the the campaign in that game? I heard it was like a fucked up RPG. It was a super fucked up RPG, and I swear that all of the current like survival games that just keep popping up on steam like took a cue from that because you had I, you, a hunger meter I, I remember you told me about it like you have a hunger meter and like if the meter goes down you just don't you do just, shit yeah you just fucking die right. so right away something that i love about this game is how the graphics just die on the edges all the time like, you'll see around yeah, the edge the of the black, ship yeah flat, yeah that happens everywhere it's like whenever they move i think it's like an every time basically they do yeah their little... like the and it, it, it always appears to be like the transparency, por- like the transparent portion of like that square, mm, right? Yeah. Like that's a full square, but half of it is only the thing and the other half is transparent so you can see the sky. But then sometimes it just happens, the floor dies and I don't know why. It's like you're being hit with poison every step, that's what it looks like to me. And that is what I thought was happening sometimes. Yeah, Cecil's um, having a flashback to five minutes ago when they just stomped some ass and took this crystal. And it's like, soil! So when I first played this game, I was like, like early, super big googly eye fanboy over Cecil. Like, mm-hmm. especially when you start fucking shit up on the top of this deck. Yeah. Like, and just the way he looks and everything, and like, I don't know, that he... Then him becoming a paladin, right? Yeah, he becomes a paladin pretty quick. Yeah, like, I, I was definitely bummed out because I was like, he looks yeah. so much cooler. He does look cool as a Dark Knight, especially in uh, his, his art mm-hmm. and all that. He looks fucking awesome. Something about the designs for this game just look awesome, okay. every single one of them. They're, this might be Final Fantasy at its most high fantasy. Yeah, in I, fact, I'm so I'm really stoked to look watch through this because mm. I I love the drag I love the idea of the dragoon character mm-hmm. and Kane is like the epitome to me of like the dragoon characters. He's just it's almost cool. it's almost as if his aloof personality is manifest in his abilities. Yeah, like literally, he's above it all. Yeah, and. Yeah, oh man, yeah, fuck it up, man. Yeah. I, love... I wish you had these abilities, yeah. that would have been useful. Just fucking drop, like, a <laughs> Blitz 3 on yeah. them. Like, why? Yeah. My first experience with Final Fantasy, actually, was you telling me about this game. Oh, yeah. I believe it's... it was, like, in the lead-up to Final Fantasy VII coming out, uh-huh. and I was anticipating getting a PlayStation, because my mom said, like, probably gonna get you that, and what about this game, and all that. And you... You told me about this game at length. Oh, man. Uh, you, yeah. you told me about, like, Cecil and Kane and becoming a paladin and uh, how you you talk to some dancer and she turns you into a pig. <laughs> yeah. And all this stuff. And, like, it, it, it was always fascinating. And then when the um, this collection came out, along with this and uh, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy Chronicles, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I was fucking stoked. So, like, finally I can play Final Fantasy IV. And then I, I realized that what you didn't tell me was how hard this game is. <laughs> See, and it's strange because I, as a kid, I definitely played original Final Fantasy and then this, which was 2. Mm-hmm. And I 
now I'm starting to think I never beat the first one. I think that's yeah. very, very realistic. That's very... But I, I'm God pretty damn sure game. I beat this one. Yeah. Like, I'm fucking fairly positive. This I, game is more... It's... I would say it's as difficult as the first one, but it's more fair. It's like... And it's much more accessible. It like, is more accessible, yes. Because you you play through this and you're like, okay, there's a story that's... you know, Not that one didn't have a story, mm -hmm. but it was so barely there. But this one, you really get invested in the characters, so you want to see it through. Oh, this one, you're being driven by characters, mm -hmm. whereas in Final Fantasy 1, you're being driven by events. If that... Yeah. In fact, that's not even entirely the case with 1, because in 1, you just kind of go from place to place, and it's like, well, what's happening here? What's happening here? Oh, I found a hint that there's a fairy somewhere. Okay, I got that. Oh, now I have Oxy Ale. Yeah, see, I... Because I... I I think you had told me that one of your first times playing a Final Fantasy game, or maybe even any RPG, uh, was 7? 7 is my first... And eventually I'm going to write about 7, and I'll mm -hmm. go into length about that. But yes, Final Fantasy 7 was... Unless you count Zelda, which is iffy. Yeah. Yeah, Final Fantasy 7 was my first experience with RPGs. See, and I, I, like, was heavily, like, steeped in this shit mm -hmm. from playing the Final Fantasies on the NES and then playing uh, whatever was available on the SNES. I don't remember which ones exactly, but then um, Secret of Mana and Secret mm -hmm. of Evermore and uh, Star Ocean and all that shit. Legend of Gaia. I think that's Illusion, it, yeah. Illusion of Gaia? Or one of those, One of yeah. those, or both of them? I feel like it's Legend, but who knows. One, I, yeah, whatever that one is where you're like the kid with the flute and then you turn into a <laughs> badass with a sword. Uh -huh. Like, um, yeah, I played, you know, I've, I've been into this shit for quite some time, and so I, 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 I believe, that's what makes me believe that I must have beaten this game. Like, I had to have. Like, mm -hmm. I just, but like I, you had to have yeah. put the time into it to see if mm -hmm. you did. Maybe you did. Maybe you'll see the final bot well. Yeah, you saw like, a preview of the final boss fight, but maybe yeah, as I watched this, yeah, play, which is why I'm excited because, mm -hmm. like I said, it's been so long. Like, yeah, I don't remember anything. One thing I don't like about this game, though, is Kane's view from behind. It's he like just a has butt. a butt. Yeah, <laughs> it's just uh, from behind and from the side because he just has like this fucking tail dragging off of him. It looks like Magmar's head, like that. It fucking does look like Magmar's head. That butt. flaming butt that yeah. it's got. Look at these guys just humping him out. Yeah, yeah, he just, he pelvic threat. Yeah, see, look how he looks from the <laughs> side. What a cool team, though. Yeah, Dark Knight and Dragoon. Like, you don't fuck with that. No, you don't. That's, actually, speedrunners, um, they beat the game. They, they have the full party, because you can't get there without the full party. But mm. the only two people they have alive for the final fight are Kane and Edge. Ooh. Because they know how to exactly manipulate what's going on and all they need to do is throw shit with edge and have kane do jump oh, over yeah. and over who is the um so although i never play i played a few hours of final fantasy 10 mm -hmm. a couple times and one of the things that i really enjoyed was how in 10 they took the idea of your jobs and kind of remix them or like applied them to these different looking characters uh -huh. and a little and, bit, yeah. And isn't there is a character in Ten who has the jump ability, right? It's more or less uh, a dragoon. Oh, uh, Kimari has the jump ability. I think it's his. Kimari is more of a. He's kind of a mix between the blue mage and the dragoon, and mm. that one jump is one of his blue magics. Oh, okay. I think oh. it's his default blue magic. Like he has it from the start, so he he does act like a dragoon a little bit in that regard. But then he gains a bunch of blue magic. But you're right; they do kind of remix the jobs a little bit yeah. because. Rigu, for instance, she's the thief, but mm -hmm. she also has the mix ability, which is something the chemist had all the way back in Final Fantasy V. Look at fucking Sid. I know, the Sid. I love the Sid. He's just this hairy, crazy dude. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to break out the art book here after this episode <laughs> yeah. to look at Sid a little bit what about and look at those drawings of Rydia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this value. Because, because even Yoshitaka Amano was just drawing sexy pictures of fucking Rydia. Just like, yep, I got a boner now. That's how I know I've done a good job. He's going to keep drawing until his boner goes away. I, I think that's his metric. His personal metric for a character, male or female. Do I have a boner? I'm done. And then we get to just keep doing it until it goes away. If it's not going away, then I'm doing my job. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Call your doctor after four hours. <laughs> what was that line in Dewey, Co Dewey Cox? Oh, yeah. It, fuck, what was it? If boners persist after four hours, call more ladies. <laughs> I have to watch that again sometime. It's a great movie. The, I, I remember really enjoying it, but the only scene that I can really remember is when they do coke. Uh, and they're playing like oh, yeah, yeah, punk. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, you're playing like <laughs> some kind of punk. <laughs> yeah. My my favorite part is a, a joke I don't see often enough. And it's when John C. Riley, who is obviously like a 45-year-old out of shape dude. Actually, there are two parts to this. The one is after he starts his family. And he says like, I'm doing pretty well for an 18-year-old with a wife and oh, two kids. Yeah. And the other part is when he first has sex with the woman who's going to be his wife, she pulls up his shirt and it cuts in and he just has like this rip six pack. Yeah. <laughs> Where else does that kind of humor pop up? It pops up in, um, uh, it pops like up frequently. Like shit. Like, yeah, I, I it wanna, pops up frequently yeah. in like the uh, Naked Gun movies. Yeah, Anything with yeah. Leslie Nielsen has a good chance of having that. I was, I, I I was just, gonna say Hot Shots, but he, I, fucking, he's already ripped to begin yeah, with in that yeah, movie. Yeah, that's so. the thing. He's, it's, you look at Charlie Sheen in Hot Shots 2, and it's like, what the fuck, man? You're built like a god. <laughs> I know. He's like, just didn't have to care. After. He's like, dude, I don't care. Like, yeah. his winning, <laughs> like, that whole thing. It's like, yeah, I, I believe you, yeah. Sheen. The Sheen machine. I like that uh, Cecil goes to bed in his armor. He's like, leave me alone. He's that much of an edgelord right now. <laughs> He's just clanking around in bed. <laughs> I know, I imagine him shifting to face the wall, <laughs> yeah. like, all creaky. Clank, clank. So what is, uh, what do we know? What's going on so far? Uh, so right now, Cecil just got back from a mission to retrieve one of the elemental crystals in this world, because this brings back the idea of the crystals. I love that. Which was absent from two, but present in one. Uh, he doesn't know why their king suddenly wants them, though. Uh, they have recently developed airship technology called the Air Wing Un the Red Wing Unit, which he was in charge of. They were sent to go just destroy this helpless village of mages and get one of those crystals and come back. And he's having problems with it because even though he's a dark knight, he's not really you know, signed up for that kind of violence. And when he objected to the idea, the king disposed, or didn't dispose of him, but relieved him of his command of the Red Wings and is sending him and his buddy Kane to the village of Mist along the my mysterious ring. I hope they get some real combat. Me too. And not just... <laughs> it's just children. They're like, well... <laughs> stab. I guess is what we gotta do. <laughs> it's, just, it's real. It's one-sided, but it's real. <laughs> there are stakes here, I mean... Man, look at this beautiful view. Mm -hmm. This great-ass music, which I'm pretty sure this music is used in Final Fantasy XII. Again. Oh man, so fucking Final Fantasy 15, you get in the car and you can like listen to music from the games. Oh, and, and here's something. what's going on. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That you can collect tapes, which yeah. are just songs from the older games. It's great. I I spend way too much time in that game. Like people have talked about how. Um, the car they can do without the car driving uh -huh. and they usually just let ignis do it or they just warp to places yeah i enjoy the car rides with my with my boys listening to some and, old school tunes and you know what both of those perspectives are totally valid yeah i can see both of them there are times in skyrim where i'm like i just want to walk across the map mm -hmm. and then times where like i just want to take care of this quest i'm going to warp back to the city and it's great because you can't steer the car mm -hmm. you can just make it go park it or do a u-turn <laughs> and and so you just hold down the throttle and you're just swinging the camera around like hanging out with the boys yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's good if you could so you can't take the car off road no if you could that game would have been delayed at least another three years oh yeah and then <laughs> just I, fuck i mean i'm already like fucking not making any progress yeah. but i would really not be making any progress <laughs> if, if you could take the, the car off road <laughs> yeah. and then fucking break it and go ah oh, damn it Guess I gotta bring it back to Cindy and look at her boobs mm. while she fixes it. I cannot believe the character design for Cindy. It's, uh... If every other character Whoa. in that... Was, Holy shit! Wow, man. <laughs> Sword Rat. That is a cool-ass enemy. Yeah. Sword Rat? 
<laughs> ah, I, but like it's just a rat with a bunch of swords in its back. I picture like a rat with like taped to some swords. <laughs> you know the propeller rat? Yeah, like something is that. Oh, that's my over favorite. Yeah. That's one of my favorite enemies of recent years. The propeller rat because it just comes at you so languidly. Uh, and the but, way it's hanging the, there. The way it hangs there and it comes at you so languidly that you second you have time to second guess yourself. You're like, like Wait, what's it gonna? What? Yeah. And then it gets you. Uh huh. The way it comes at you is just that asshole, like, straight yeah. at you pattern. Uh-huh. But yeah, so if it wasn't for, like, every, the main character in that game being beautiful boys, yeah. like, Cindy just showing, like, I started playing this game, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be great, I'm gonna put this game in, it's gonna have that nice scene, like, Jamie's here, she's gonna be yeah. like, oh, games are cool, <laughs> and then, like, Cindy shows up, and I'm like, yeah. oh, uh, it's, I swear, love, I'm, this is, she's, like, here for a minute, like, there <laughs> are much more dudes in this game than there are her, like, uh. Just, it's yeah. It's a fine line to walk between making the character sexy and making them feel um, what's the word I'm looking for? Objectified, like, I guess. Yeah. Because like Tifa is a character who you can just put depending on the position you put her in, she could be cheesecake or she could be yeah. just a strong ass woman who just happens to be wearing a skirt and like a halter top. Yeah, it's not like. There is no way you would dress that way to repair cars, mm -hmm. and and so it's kind of makes me think of the whole quiet thing with the yeah. There's MGS no reason 5. for quiet to be dressed like yeah, that. Yeah, like they're like uh, even the the reason they give an MGS five is that uh, basically she was horribly burned at the start of the game, mm. and she was given an infusion of a particular substance and plot item in that game, which restored her, um, but now. It's basically a living organism, mm. which has replaced her skin, and it needs to breathe, so she can't cover up her skin. That's which dumbest. That, it's it's it's, it's dumb, cool, but, but the fine. That, but yeah. there's no reason for her to wear torn fishnets. Yeah, that's at the same time. And, and and there's another character that has that same deal, right? Basically, yeah. But he's not fucking running around and like nothing. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And like, you can unlock a costume for Quiet, which is just like her full fucking battle rattle. And, and which it covers her from head to toe, and it's fine. And, and it's, she looks way cooler that way. And then, and then, Quiet is like rolling around in like the fucking rain and yeah. like perking her butt up uh -huh. in the helicopter and uh -huh. stuff. And and it's like, okay, that has nothing to do. It, it has nothing to do with it. And so, you know, Cindy isn't that <laughs> bad, yeah. but it's still like it makes me think of that. I'm just like, come on, like, oh, there. You know, if if she was like, if if she was working at the diner or something mm -hmm. and it's like okay you know she's a server at the diner i could see maybe she likes to wear that so she gets more tips yeah. and or maybe if her character just like has issues and needs a lot of attention or i don't know but like i always like the design of winfrey in uh full metal alchemist oh yeah because the, and Hawkeye, for that matter and like, hawkeye yeah. yeah well because hawkeye is just like a, a hard-ass military woman but, uh, and Winfrey is just, usually she's just wearing, like, overalls, mm -hmm. oil-stained overalls. At most, she kind of, like, takes it down and ties it around her waist. I was watching, uh, uh, Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash, and there's a character that shows up, and the main character kind of starts to, like, crush in on her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a fantasy-themed anime, and so a lot of the characters, there's one character who is, like, all, always, like, butt shots like left and right and um and they even kind of make that okay in a way it's just like she, she's just oblivious uh -huh. and and whatever and and uh but this new character shows up and so the main character like is starting to get feel have feelings for her and he shows up at the place that she's staying and she's wearing you know basically the equivalent of having her morning coffee on the deck in a robe mm -hmm. and he just like catches a glimpse of her legs and and then he feels super embarrassed because he's like checking her out and i was like that's good yeah. like that was a cool like and it just shows her legs mm -hmm. and they're all like toned and and he's like oh my god you know he's like checking out that for a brief moment and he's like <laughs> oh, oh shit like and yeah like that amount of I don't know, that character design and that level of like quote unquote sexiness yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. have you was much more real and made sense because we've all uh, been there like you catch a glimpse of a person you're interested in and you're just you don't even have to see them naked you just see like part of them and yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. and in terms of displaying a character um we'll, we'll talk about this in the moment after this scene because we're finally at the village of mist 
And like, oh, the the ring the king gave us is glowing. Oh no, bombs! Oh shit! There were just bombs in it, and bombs are assholes. Bombs are such dicks. They're the biggest dicks. And you know, shit goes wrong when the sky turns red. Like <laughs> that's the final. That's how every Final Fantasy tells you shit is going down. The sky is red. But if I could summon a ring of bombs, I would feel pretty cool. I would. I don't know what I'd do with it. I would just feel cool about it. And I, I picture bombs being. Like, as I'm, I'm trying to think about the scale of enemies to characters mm -hmm. in these games, and I imagine bombs are much bigger than humans. Y well, you think about it, like, if a bomb is... Well, they get, they grow in size, I guess. They grow That's in right. size, but even just the, because they're spheres, that, like, if a bomb was had the diameter equal to, like, your height, the fact mm -hmm. that it's a sphere yeah. means it's going to have much more um, volume. And I imagine there were more than the amount we saw. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. probably like fucking, <laughs> you know, tons, just tons <laughs> crammed into that ring. And now this weird girl is like, you killed mom's dragon because her mom had summoned that mist dragon. And I guess when you kill someone's monster that they summon, they die. So oh, we shit. killed her mom. Fuck. Yeah. And now, now Kane's like, well. Cain is literally going to kill a child, like you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Cain, that. Cain literally said hoarders are hoarders. <laughs> Works work, man. <laughs> gotta put in my 40. He's like, I, got, I gotta get done. I gotta get home to the missus. I gotta fucking finish this shit up. I like that pool of purple drink back there. <laughs> it's all wrinkly uh, and weird. How they just tinted the whole scene red. Except for your characters who are on a different, different layer. Yeah. It's like there's background layer, character layer, text layer. And then the box behind yeah. the text. Box layer, then text layer. What are you going to do, Kane? What should we do about that girl? We can't leave her because we got to kill her. Yeah, girl, why didn't you run into the trees while they were having this exchange? <laughs> we're hopping that purple drink. <laughs> Something. He's all covered in metal he won't jump in that purple drink he'll get all <laughs> sticky and uh, and they sleep in the armor so yeah that's right they do sleep in the armor it's they don't have a squire to clean it off like knights of old we'd have their squires just clean the shit out of their armor <laughs> some is titan who has a who what has is, like a back what, on his back Dick, what what is that what is that <laughs> musculature on its back <laughs> that is snes musculature She's just like, her stand is just this guy who's got back abs. <laughs> he uses ab wheel backwards. He just flexes and it causes an earthquake. That's a very, that's a very useful stand, actually. <laughs> it's very straightforward and effective. Just does like really, you know, classic mm -hmm. bodybuilder poses and just different poses have a different like Richter scale of oh, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. how big of a fucking earthquake it is. When it hits the most muscular, like that's when shit really goes down. <laughs> it's one thing when it does like the, it gives you a side view of the back, uh -huh. right? But then when it just stands there and fucking bends over and flexes everything at once, it's like, oh no. I bet you could look up what <laughs> like how the door is screaming by the way. <laughs> No, it has its hands up, too. I know. Woo! I bet you could find, like, which poses are, you know, represent your muscles the best. Like, you know, I'm sure there are poses, right? Like oh, yeah, this, definitely. Like, I have the uh, modern encyclopedia yeah. bodybuilding over there. There's a whole section just dedicated to posing. So whatever one displays, like, flexes the most yeah. muscle groups at once. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's the dead left version of posing, basically? <laughs> We, where's Arnold when we need him? Arnold! <laughs> he just shows up. Oh! <laughs> <Here> I am! <laughs> Arnold, what's that pose? That's the best pose. Most muscular! <laughs> Thanks. And he just does it and rips <laughs> through his suit. And his governor's suit. Oh no. Suit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> luau! <laughs> what, you're going to a luau? <laughs> La -ho. You're going to Lowe's? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Uh, now these assholes just show up. <laughs> oh man. Don't annihilate her. No, don't do it. Don't even use the word annihilate. Like, think, dispose, like, dispatch, like, dispatch. Geez. Annihilate? She's a little girl. <laughs> so this is Cecil being like. This is Cecil. Turning. Yeah, turning good. 
and uh, everyone's like, "What are you doing, Dick?" Yeah. And then he's like, "Oh, god damn it! I, can't I fight. Kill this kid. I, I fight for the. I speak for the trees now. <laughs> I guess I'm the Lorax." And then they're like, "By Danny DeVito." <laughs> Man, Danny DeVito can write a good movie sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you think about the stuff that Danny DeVito does. Yeah. And then you think about Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> Well, yeah, he, like today, today's generation, he's best known for Always Sunny. But then it even surprises me when I'm like, wait, he fucking wrote Matilda? Yeah. Like, that's his. This is a Danny DeVito movie. It says right on the box. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Joe Pesci? I want more of him. Is he dead? I think we all want more Joe Pesci. <laughs> I used to get those two confused. Everyone did. <laughs> You're not alone. Yay, Summon Iridia joined the party. Now let's go back to sleep in our armor. <laughs> How do you sleep after that? <laughs> you just you just tuck yourself in, and then uh, you you count some some sheep. Look at that All fucker set. back there. 